Oh man, we have reached critical um, sketch level. <laughs> uh, here we go. Alright guys, if this is not a perfect example of I have no idea what I'm doing, you should definitely not try this stuff at home. There's no... This is just super sketchy. But anyway, when you gotta get stuff done, you gotta get stuff done. <laughs> this thing is kicking, kicking my butt right now. We're gonna get it out though. Um, I've been messing with it for a second. Got everything disconnected. Uh, had a small little problem, got, the, got everything hung up because the car's like pinched in the front. So, uh, anyway, we're getting it. But anyway, I'm gonna get this thing out and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. But enjoy this time lapse of me struggling and not trying to kill myself by doing something stupid. Yeah. See, what I tell you, 100% sketchy, very unnecessary. I would never tell anyone to do this. That was extremely stupid, but it's out, and that's all I care about. So, I don't have a nice shop. We're on the dirt. Uh, I don't know if you noticed or not. Stuff like engine hoist and engine stands, they don't roll very good in dirt and sand. So, hooked it to my truck, pulled it out, Nearly died like four times, I'm sure. But the engine's out, so. Um, did notice some stuff. Um, it was leaking right here. So I'm gonna have to get another valve cover, I'm pretty sure. I got some new gaskets. But anyway, I think that's going to be unfortunate because I think these things are kind of expensive. I do believe this is my fault. Um, I would like to think it's not, but it looks very fresh. Uh, so, that's a bummer. Uh, yeah, like so we got the timing cover and everything, so... Basically, we'll throw some new valve covers on, valve cover gaskets, timing cover, timing cover gaskets. Hopefully the, the chain tensioners and everything looks, looks good. If they look somewhat decent, we're just going to run with them. I'm not really too sweat or you know worried if this thing blows up or not. I would just you know if they definitely need to be replaced, I'll replace them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sit this thing on the ground, uh, address these few little issues that we I know I have, like this hole in this valve cover. That's a total bummer. I'm almost positive I've done that. But like I said, the car has been up pretty bad, so it's twisted. Um, makes it nearly impossible to get this thing out of here 
Um, now that the engine's out, you can just see how how bad that timing cover was busted. Focus a little better, but it's split all the way through there. Sit down there, all the way through. So, but yeah. Ooh, this thing is under, <laughs> it's like wound up. But anyway, it's super sketchy. Definitely not the way to do it. Definitely not the way I would have liked to do it. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. And uh, this is definitely one of those situations. Um, but anyway, probably get this thing cleaned up a little bit. Uh, address that. Looks like the shifter might have been leaking a little bit. Clean this thing up. And. Uh, Get the Mustang going. Got the engine bay all shined up. It's looking pretty good. It's got a massive, you know, rust spot down through here. I just realized this video's quality is gonna be horrible because my truck's been running. But it'll be all right. Tore the rest of the interior out and pressure washed it. I think I got some clips of that I might throw in here. All right, guys, I almost didn't record this, but I figured someone might see value and seeing the car before it's uh, cleaned up. But yeah, we got everything stripped out, all the, you know, old dirty carpet and everything. Um, I just kind of went through, I didn't even vacuum, I just kind of went through and picked all the big loose trash up out of it. Uh, but I will say, oh, I gotta get this one panel off. God, jeez. But anyway, I will say this is a not a very an attractive car when it's stripped I guess like just the way the sheet metal and stuff is put together it kind of looks bad I don't know <laughs> well compared to the RX 7s anyway I guess but it doesn't really matter it's just my opinion but anyway uh, I'm going to use simple green on like the dash and stuff um, I'm not taking anything off I'm just going to spray it and then wash it I'm almost 90% sure I'm not going to hurt any of the electronics um, like I said, getting stuff wet usually doesn't hurt it. Letting it sit wet is what hurts it. So, but yeah, uh, and I got something a little bit stronger just for like uh, um, the floors and stuff like that because this stuff's probably going to be pretty hard to get off. Maybe not, but anyway. But yeah, all right. Well, I just want to show this real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna get this one little piece off and then spray this thing down with some cleaner and take the pressure washer to it and. Uh, See how it turns out. All right, that's the first round of uh, pressure washing. <laughs> like I said, it's, uh, it's coming clean pretty good. There's still some pretty nasty spots. Um, a little, some rusty spots. Nothing like no major holes or nothing. Uh, let's see. But yeah, the window tint is coming off fairly easy. The pressure washer was like pretty much blasting it out of there. But yeah, uh, it's cleaning up really good, so. I'm not worried about it. I just hate working on dirty cars and stuff, so. But it's looking alright. This right here, it, like, it concerns me a little bit. <laughs> like, this looks, to me, it looks like it's buckled. It kind of looks like the, the frame is bent. Maybe it's like it's buckled up right there. I need to do some research and see if that's, like, normal or something. I don't know. But the car has been hit on this side right here. But not enough damage to have done anything right there, I don't think, unless these things are made of like freaking soggy paper. I don't know. But you know, the damage is just basically right there. I don't see that being like original. You just stamp that way. It looks like it's been bent. So maybe like the whole back of the car has been tweaked that way or something. I don't know. But I don't care anyway. This is just gonna be like a little car for me to go Learn in, so it'll probably end up getting crashed anyway. But yeah, it's not too bad. It's cleaning up good. That's all I care about. This is just a quick update. Like I said, I work 12 hours, so I'm doing this in between work, trying to make this thing happen. But. Just in case I decide to make this the end of the video. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna call it a night and uh, tune in for next time when we actually get this thing ready 
and sit it in the car. So 